Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, April the 13th. It's Friday in the week of Easter. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 118, Exodus chapter 13, verses 1 and 2, and 11 through 16. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Psalm 118. Give thanks to God the Most High. For God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, God's mercy endures forever. Let them that fear God the Most High say, God's mercy endures forever. I called upon you in my distress, and you answered me and set me free. You are on my side, I will not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? You are at my side to help me. Therefore, I shall see my desire upon them who hate me. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in princes. The nations circled about me, but in your name I will destroy them. They circled about me, but in your name I will destroy them. They buzzed about me like bees. They blazed like a fire of thorns. For in your name I will destroy them. <clears throat> they have thrust sore at me that I might fall. But you, my God, have helped me. You are my strength and my song, and you have become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is heard in the tents of the rejoice of the righteous. Your right hand triumphs. Your right hand is exalted, your right hand triumphs. I shall not die but live, and declare your works, my God. You have chastened me, but you have not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and sing your praise. This gate of yours is where the righteous shall enter. I praise you, for you have heard me, and you have become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. This, all of this, is God's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, God most high, Hosanna. Send us now your prosperity. Bless the one that comes in your name. We have blessed you from the house of our God. Yahweh is God who has shown us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to God the Most High, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 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 The lesson is from the book of Exodus, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. Now Yahweh said to Moses, Consecrate to me all the firstborn. Whatever is the first to open the womb among the Israelites of human beings and animals is mine. And when Yahweh has brought you into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and your ancestors, and has given it to you, you shall set apart to Yahweh all that first opens the womb, all the firstborn of your livestock, that are males shall be Yahweh's. But every firstborn donkey you shall redeem with a sheep. If you do not redeem it, you must break its neck. And every firstborn male among your children you shall redeem. 
When in the future your child asks you, what does this mean? You shall answer, by strength of hand, Yahweh brought us out of Egypt from the house of slavery. And when Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, Yahweh killed all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, from human firstborn to the firstborn of animals. Therefore, I sacrifice to Yahweh every male that first opens the womb. But every firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall serve as a sign on your hand and as an emblem on your forehead that by strength of hand Yahweh brought us out of Egypt. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, in trusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, who gave your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification, give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.